Hey guys, Tara coming to you live from Double Under Wonder again. We're bringing you these quick 10 minute workouts that you can do at home, you can do at the gym, at the park, at your hotel, whatever's convenient. The purpose of these workouts is to give you 10 minutes that you can get out there, get active, get a nice workout in and get ready for the rest of your day. So most of these workouts have zero to no equipment. Today I'm throwing a little bit of stuff in there that you might have at home. If you don't, that's okay. We're gonna find a way to modify this. Um, again, it's a 10 minute AMRAP. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So this first portion of the workout is going to be, you're gonna go through it as many times as you can in the 10 minutes. Then you'll see that I have EMOM written on the board. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So we're gonna throw something in there every minute. Um, we're gonna have tricep dips. Um, tricep dips you can do on a couch. You can do on a chair as long as it's nice and safe and secure. You can do it on a box or if you have rings or a bar at home, you can also do dips on either of those things. We have reverse lunges. That's where we're gonna step back for our lunge. Deadlifts. Deadlifts can be done with a dumbbell or a barbell. We're gonna go over the deadlift here in a minute just to give you an idea of what your form should look like and what you need to use for that. And then we also have Russian twist, a nice little core movement in there. The um, kicker is every minute on the minute, you'll stop wherever you are in the AMRAP and you'll do two burpees. So let's talk about what these movements should look like. When you're doing your tricep dips, I'm gonna use my weight bench because that's all I have here for that. Um, I want to go ahead and extend my legs out, get my core nice and tight. And from here, I'm gonna drop down and push back up. Some of us might need to bend those knees just a little bit to add a little bit of support and let the lower body help. Otherwise, keep the legs out, drop your body down. That's what your triceps will look like. From there, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge. I have a nice pad here to cushion the blow on my knees, but I'm just going to step back, drop my knee to the mat, stand all the way up. Make sure when you're doing your reverse lunges that you're standing up, full hip extension at the top and getting that knee as low to the ground as you can. If you can't get it all the way down, that's fine. Just go as low as your mobility will allow. After that, we have deadlifts. So here's a little bit of weight for you. If you don't have a dumbbell or a barbell at home, you could also use things like kettlebells, free weights. Um, I've known some people that have used jugs of milk out of the fridge. So anything that gives you some weight to work with your deadlift. I'm gonna be using dumbbells today. So when we do deadlifts, your feet need to be in a little bit more narrow. They're gonna be underneath my hips versus my shoulders for the air squat. So I'm gonna come in nice and narrow. And when I drop down to pick up the weight, I'm really focusing on my core and my back. Make sure the back stays nice and flat and I'm not rounding in the shoulders to pick anything up. And I engage that stomach. So from here, nice flat back. I'm gonna get those dumbbells and stand up with them. Especially on the way down, it's important to Kind of focus on that core, focus on the back, make sure you're keeping everything nice and tight and don't get too loose on things. Otherwise, we're gonna to put too much pressure on that lower back and we don't wanna do that. If you have a barbell that you'll be doing deadlifts with or even just a broomstick, maybe. Remember, remember we're gonna have our feet in nice and narrow. This gives you a good reference point with your deadlifts. You wanna keep that weight as close to your body as possible with a nice flat back. And when you're doing deadlifts, try to make sure that your shoulders are set up in front of your knees. So from the side, my shoulders are gonna be slightly in front of my knees. My back is nice and straight. Everything is nice and tight. And from here, I'm gonna travel in a straight line with that bar, stand all the way up with it before I drop back down into my deadlift. So barbell, dumbbells, gallons of milk, whatever you have at home to get those deadlifts done. So with the Russian twist, guys, we're gonna sit on the floor and engage our core. When you do this movement, you wanna push your stomach, push your belly button into your back, is kind of what you're thinking, and pull those legs up off the floor. From here, you take your hands and touch one side of the mat, twist to the other side of the mat. It's gonna be back and forth. If you need to lower your feet for a little bit more balance, that's also okay. But try to engage that core, push that tummy in, and push through that movement. All right, so we have 5, 10, 15, 20. That's our AMRAP, which is gonna keep rotating through that. But every minute that takes over, we're gonna drop and do our burpees. So lots of variations for burpees. But what I would like you to try to do is go through the full range of motion with your burpee. So drop your hands to the mat, kick your feet back, 
feet, your full body to the ground. Keep your feet up. And then I'm going to jump and get my hands over my head for the top of my burpee. Make sure you're getting full hip extensions, hands above your head when you get the top of your burpee. All right, so 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes to freedom. So let's go ahead and get this workout started.
Um, the tricep dips were a little tough after all the push-ups yesterday. Other than that, everything moved pretty quickly. I'm glad it was only two burpees every minute and not more than that. Um, so absolutely, get out there, give this workout a go. If you haven't checked out our big BOGO cell on the website, everything's buy one, get one free. So check that out, doubleedwonder.com. And have a great day. Bye.